Today's show is Barb and Friends. It's a visit with a person of high strangeness and Mike John's here. Uh, we have camera problems. <laughs> what else is no? So we're going to do the best we can here. We're working off for daylight. So you'll have sun you you'll have sun and hail and the whole works. How are you, Mike? I'm doing fine, thank you. Uh you you came to Olympia for what a period of what six months? Six months, yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, to visit with people down here and uh, get acquainted with the area and uh, meet new and different individuals, and it's been exciting. I've I've met a lot of people that I was not aware of. And uh, they've been very informative, very supportive. Uh, they've uh, helped in my overall knowledge of things. And uh, we just, uh, we've had great times, great times. Okay, during your stay in Olympia, uh, you, well, normally you film, you film other places that I can't go to. And then you will, um, you mail them or you bring them. But this time you, we were actually doing things together for a minute because then I got really ill. But uh, for a minute, and um, one of the actually the last thing that I was able to do, period, uh, with you was uh, the Thanksgiving dinner. That's correct. We uh, we filmed uh, a Thanksgiving dinner that was given on. Uh, given by a uh, Barb Soul Food. Um, yes. uh, I'm gonna cut in on you here. I'm uh, glad you did. It's a, it's a, it's, I think it's a 40 year, 40 year a tradition in Olympia to feed the homeless during Thanksgiving and um, Christmas. And this year, um, they actually added an East, Easter hunt to that. And, and uh, Barbara O'Neill started that and um, well, she recently passed away and so had her children and my children, um, and my grandchildren, they are very, really, really busy on, you know, continuing her legacy per se, uh, you know, if you want to call it that, to, to pull that off. And, um, uh, well, I don't volunteer or anything, so w what we do is we give our talents, which is filming. Filming, yes. Filming things. And so, well, we went down, um, we only did the Thanksgiving dinner. Um, I was already sick during the Christmas dinner. And so we went down and put a nice little story together. That's correct. And uh, it ended up on the internet uh, before we were able to use it. And so the, the one on the internet uh, is it, on the, organ the organization side. And it had some flaws in it because it was an unedited version. Mm-hmm. So you think we should, uh, we should go through the highlights? No, no, I'm, I'm still thinking on the tape. Should we do the unedited version or should we clean it up a little bit? What do you think? It, it's just one little bleep, actually. Yeah, um, I don't see a problem with it. Yeah, so some of you have seen it um, already. And uh, so... So after a while, we're going to take you there. It, and the other thing they did this year, they added musicians uh, to kind of make it... Very um, low-key and a, a very uh, musical where people uh, could listen to the music and enjoy their food. Um, a lot of the homeless people uh, comments were, uh, I enjoy the music. It's really um, soothing to me to listen to a, a small band and uh, they played all sorts of music and um, it's a jazz band yeah it was a mm -hmm. jazz band and they uh, uh, thank you for that I forgot <laughs> I was trying to think of a word well, to look, describe this, uh, I want to tell you something this is March 2020 20, I was gonna say 2012 no 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 2010 and uh, this happened back in November so our memory is a little we're old, Mike. No. Ooh, that didn't sound very... I'm going to hear about that. Okay, in, in my evolution in my life, it's okay to forget something. 
Yeah, well, it's the same with mine. Uh, yeah, I, maybe not in yours, but in ours, it's... I'm very forgetful. Good. I'm, and sometimes <laughs> I'm glad. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, and so that's what happened. We went there that long ago, and we haven't had really time to time to talk about it, so we packed up and... Uh, oh, and I had a clothes bank with it. That's right. And yeah. Oh, besides the clothes bank, uh, we got to Loud. film a little bit. Loud. We got to film a little bit. Uh, there was a special room that was set up for uh, uh, for. Uh, that's why the press. That's why. That's why the flaws were. Okay. Yeah. 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 And, and actually, what we were doing, there were TCTV people there doing interviews, and we asked them, would it be okay for us to hijack the interview? And when you hijack an interview, you're filming someone else doing an interview, and then you use it in a different capacity. And it's all so, so um, we jacked a little bit, didn't we? <laughs> yes, we did, and then we went a different direction. Yeah. Uh, because we wanted to add more color and and life to it, other than just the homeless. We wanted. We wanted to take you there, so you could you experience there. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, it, it, time flies. My grandkids were my grandkids were working there. Can you believe it? Oh, that's right. They were. Oh, and some of you might think that's not nice, but uh, I'm. This is the part I'm proud of. I had some cigarettes, and a lot of people on the street smoke. So I took some extra cigarettes down there, and we all, all the smokers, we. You know, of course, we can't smoke inside. We congregated and I passed out cigarettes. And uh, that was good because yeah. they, they were there. And uh, the comments I received uh, when you walked inside, you had something else to do. And uh, were, they were very appreciative of it. Uh, they were very appreciative of the dinner, uh, the love, the kindness, uh, the self respect. Yeah. Uh, the respect of, uh, of them and others. And uh, there were some um, representatives there from schools. The, uh, right, the schools served dinner, you're right. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, a lady that was a teacher brought down her uh, whole class. Right, to help, that's right, yeah. Yeah, and uh, we got to talk to her for a brief second and then uh, we uh, filmed some different things, and uh, we filmed some different things, and it was uh, enjoyable. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I don't always agree. I have my right to, to disagree with some things that want, uh, that go on, uh, but th th there was a lot of love, and, and it was very overwhelming for some. I, I found people in tears. Um. What this year? Uh, no, I. I don't know if this is gonna air in time. But I think you're gonna see this a week from today, and uh, we may just make it. This year they're doing an Easter Easter um, event also. But I like for you to know that uh, all throughout the year you you can see uh, my daughter and and other volunteers uh, at the grocery stores. They are at top food sometimes. They uh, they make up food in different places, asking for donations for this event because when you feed 3,000 people, uh, you can get use all the help you can get. Now, at, on the Easter, what they're doing here now for Easter, um, some people brought candy and some people brought basket and my daughter made bunnies and stuff like that, you know. So it's an all-year-round thing where you can be supportive and when you see the barbecue cart it affairs and things if you if you are supportive all that money is being used for those purposes you, you know and Isn't i think that, cool? that that is cool yeah that is cool um there's a lot of support from the different churches um i'm trying to think of the uh, uh i want to say reverend pastor um what his title was, but there was one that was there that was very supportive, and um, there was a lot of people in the kitchen cooking, and you walked in and, 
and talked to them and said, <laughs> how long have you been here? And they said, all night, all day. 16 hours it took them to do the turkey. And they had, we had turkey. I, I mean, we just do the whole thing. So, what, what, you know what I think I want to do? We just keep reminiscing here. How about we take you there? And then you can see what we're raving about. And then if you find it in your heart, you know, kind of uh, help, start helping out for next year. They're looking for volunteers and everything. They, they, they're on Facebook and everywhere and call me and I will hook you up with the phone numbers and things. <coughs> and so go to the, um, let's go to the clip and uh, so you can enjoy that. And uh, we, we, then we'll talk some more, huh? Sounds very good. Okay. Very good. Today we're going to uh, the Thanksgiving feed, United Churches, on 11th and Capitol. Ready, Mike? I'm ready, Lillian. Mounted on a pole. And that's where we're going. Bob's family and friends Thanksgiving dinner. Here are the volunteers, Evan and Michelle Moore. It's a, uh, oops, it's a registration of some kind. Thank you so much. I know we had you going in all these different directions. really What's kind of different this year is they also added a closing bank. Uh, so people only have to come once. And so people can come here and get what they need to stay warm for the winter. It's a busy place today. Hello. Here's all the people cooking and all volunteers. A couple of people with masks. Lots of volunteers. And there's Rodney O'Neill. Put a little show together here. I remember you. The tiny one. And then, and then another one on the way. I took a picture of it. <laughs> That's Rodney right there, the mastermind behind the whole thing. <laughs> hi Rodney, hi, hi sweetie. How are you doing? Okay. My hair look okay? Yeah, beautiful okay. sweetie. I like it. <laughs> and then also if you knew Barb and you want to say something about Barb, then I was going to work on, uh, then we'll have some. Are you going to ask questions or are you going It was what at Stansberry and I've been with the team Barb's Family and Friends for 10 years. I ran the furniture bank for Barb O'Neill, and she was a beautiful, wonderful mother that I didn't have to know. She, I mean, she taught me a lot. First time I met Barb was on Easter, day before Easter, and I was homeless with my children staying at 